In this video, I'll show you how to use the data analysis tool pack to run our confidence interval estimates. So I've got my Montreal file and it's already been cleaned. So I'm actually only focused on the Villa Marie neighborhood. So you can see I've already deleted all the other neighborhoods because I'm only interested in Villa Marie. Uh, I'm also only interested in apartments, condos, houses, and townhomes. So I've also already deleted anything that's not those categories. So you can see this is a very clean file. I've also highlighted some variables of interest that I like. I'm going to show you how to do the confidence interval estimate of a mean. And we can do it using the descriptive statistics in our data analysis tool pack. So here's our data analysis button. And if you don't have this on your Excel, you have to add it. And I provided instructions at the bottom of every chapter resources page. And so there's two links, one if you have a Mac or one if you have a PC. It's really just a couple of clicks. And so go ahead and go through that and follow the steps. But I'll go ahead and click Data Analysis. And we're going to choose Descriptive Statistics. For my input range, I'm going to click this little blue button and I will select the column P. I can just click the P here. It's going to select all my data in this column. I'll click on the blue box to bring me back to my menu. Um, I did choose a whole column which includes a label up at the top, so I will click Labels in first row. Make sure to check the summary statistics and the confidence level. And so I'm going to use a 95% confidence uh, level because it's the most commonly used one in business. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it's going to run a table here for me. Let me go ahead and zoom in. And I'm going to clean this up a bit so I, we actually see their numbers. Let's go ahead and call the, uh, change this into money. So I'm highlighting that and just clicking the dollar sign button. And so to get the confidence interval estimate, we're going to need the mean and our margin of error. So this right here is our margin of error based on a confidence level of 95%. And this is our mean from the sample. So to get a confidence interval estimate, we have to identify the lower limit as well as the upper limit. So for my lower limit, I'll do equals. We'll take our mean minus our margin of error. And that states that the lower limit for our confidence interval estimate is $96.18. Then for our upper limit, we'll do equals our mean plus our margin of error of 1315. And that'll give us an upper limit of $122.47. In other words, what we're saying is that with a 95% confidence, we can conclude that the true population mean is somewhere between $96.18 and $122.47. So this is what you will do for your discussion board. And eventually, that will go into your Part 3 inferential statistics. If you have any questions, just let me know.